Okay, in this video, I'm going to pit the Motorola Atrix 4G against the HTC Nexus One phone, and we're going to do a benchmark on both phones here. Now, this is round two. Round one, I already have posted to my YouTube channel, so if you're interested, go there and check it out. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring up the app drawer on both of these devices here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up Linpack. Now, Linpack is a benchmarking tool that pretty much just benchmarks the CPU on the device itself. I think I missed it up here. There it is. Okay. I'm going to click both apps at the same time and we'll see the speed on both devices here. Pretty much brought it up at the same time. And now I'm going to run the benchmark on both devices here. Atrix finished first, followed by the Nexus One. The Atrix scored 36.98 megaflops in 2.27 seconds. The Nexus One scored 32.206 megaflops in 2.6 seconds. So there's a difference of about almost 5 gigaflops between the two devices, a little less than 5. The winner on this is the Motorola Atrix. Now let's go and try another benchmarking tool here which is Quadrant and we're going to click on that on both devices at the same time alright and we're going to run the full benchmark on both of these devices here so I'm going to click that at the same time as well Now this benchmark not only tests the CPU, but it tests the GPU on the phone. Now obviously the Atrix is so far beating the Nexus One. The Atrix is newer technology. It's a dual core phone. We all expected this. I just wanted to compare the two devices because I compared them earlier in an earlier video and I wanted to complete the picture in, in a benchmark test between the two devices here. We'll just wait for the Nexus One to finish. Now they're both running the same operating system. The Atrix is running Froyo 2.2 and uh, the, the Nexus One is also running Froyo 2.2. Now I get a dialog box here that says benchmark result. Benchmark results and device information need to be sent to a web service to compute the final score. No personally identifiable information will be transmitted. Do you want to proceed? Of course I do. Okay, the score on the Atrix here, let me bring it closer here, is 2,441. The score on the Nexus One here is 1,149. So the Nexus One here is about half the speed, a little less than half the speed than the Motorola Atrix. Like I said before, I expected this. I just wanted to complete the picture and show you the difference between the two devices with benchmarks. Okay, this time we're going to pit the Motorola Atrix 4G, which is running Froyo, Android 2.2, versus the Nexus One, but this time the Nexus One is running Gingerbread, Android 2.3.3. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to run two benchmarks on these devices and the first one we're going to start with is Linpack. Alright, I'm going to launch both apps on each device at the same time. Alright, let's run the benchmark. I'm going to click both buttons at the same time. Okay, the Motorola Atrix scored 36.323 megaflops in 2.31 seconds. 
The Nexus 1 scored 35.949 megaflops in 2.33 seconds. Pretty close there. It was less than half a megaflop between the two and about two one hundredths of a second in difference. So that's really, really close. But by a hair, the Motorola Atrix beats out the Nexus 1. Okay, the next test I'm going to run is the Quadrant Standard Benchmark, and we're going to launch both apps at the same time. All right, here we go. And we're going to run the full benchmark, and we're going to try and hit this both at the same time here. Now the Nexus 1 started the graphical portion of this sooner, followed by the Atrix. The difference here is the frame rate. Frame rate is topping out around 17 on the Nexus 1 and topping out around 30 on the Atrix. Nexus 1 is uh, getting in the 30s to 40s now. Atrix is getting almost 60, 59 to 60 frames per second. Nexus 1 is down into the teens again, and the Atrix is somewhere in the 30s. So the Nexus 1 finished first, Atrix finished second, but the Atrix was doing it at a higher frame rate. Now here's the benchmark result window that I get. I'm just going to hit yes on this so we can get our results. Okay, now the Nexus 1 scored 1,026. And the Atrix scored 2738, 2738. So clearly here, the Motorola Atrix outperformed the Nexus One phone in this test. But to make everything even and to see if it makes any difference at all, what we're going to do is we're going to strip out the wallpaper here. Now during those last tests, the Atrix did have a live wallpaper running. It was a wallpaper that changed color as the day went by. So if it was during the day, it would be lighter. If it was at night, it would be darker. But now we're just on two static pictures. So let's quickly run those benchmarks again. First, let's start with Linpack. The Motorola Atrix scored 36.769 megaflops in 2.28 seconds. The Nexus One scored 34.815 megaflops in 2.41 seconds. So this time it actually slowed down. The Nexus One slowed down by a hair and it's now about 2 megaflops slower. The last time we tried it was about a half a megaflop slower. Now let's run Quadrant again. Run the full benchmark. Again, the Nexus One starts it up first, and the frame rate is in the teens. followed by the Atrix with a frame rate in the 30s. Nexus One frame rate is in the 20s, low 30s. Atrix frame rate is about 59.60. So again, the frame rate is slower on the Nexus One, but it finishes first. And let's click for the results. Nexus One scored higher this time. It scored 1,201 without the live wallpaper running. And the Atrix scored lower this time, 2,352. So again, clearly the Atrix is faster, but that's what it looks like without any wallpapers running. So that's how the Motorola Atrix stacks up against the Nexus One.
I'm going to miss my Nexus One, but it's time to move on. So this might be the last time I compare both phones with each other. So that's pretty much it. All I have to show you now is how you put gingerbread into sleep mode.